I wanted to do a fancy flip through my sketchbook of the Amalfi Coast. I'll do another video with the French one. And I wanted to go down to the lake and do it in a beautiful place. And the result of that good intention is that it's been several weeks since I came back and I haven't done it yet. So here I am doing it now. This is a lovely custom sketchbook that Autumn at Sketchbook Co. shop um, made for me because I really need 100% um, cotton paper, especially arches. So this is the arches called Pressed and this is a very basic swatch of the uh, 2019 summer travel palette I brought with me. Um, I really enjoyed using it. I made it thinking exactly of my needs in the Amalfi Coast because it's a place I know well. And the first day I played a little bit with tiny sketches of people. I'm pretty pleased with this, so I left it as is. I don't usually sketch people. And then towards the beginning of the trip, this was the 21st of July, of June. And at the end of June is the Feast of St. Andrew in Amalfi. It's a very, very big deal. And we spent much time there. This is a view in Atrani, the town where we stay, and uh, it's what I can see from the cafe where we have breakfast in the morning. I decided to go landscape for all of it. Then we took a day trip in Rabello, which I call Sketchlandia, because everywhere you turn you have a possible sketch. And this is a restaurant where we ate one night. The challenge was to do all these chairs. And the wonderful owner, who's a woman from Rome. And this was simple, but I kind of like it. It's from a bench where we often went after before dinner to read. My hands are very dry, so I'm having... This is one of my favorites. It's the view of the City Hall of Amalfi from a, a fairly new cafe run by young people called the Déjà Vu Bar. In Italian, bar doesn't mean bar like in English. It means cafe. So yes, you can get alcohol, but you can also get coffee drinks. This is a little church in Pontone, which is a town up... Um, you know, it's about a half-hour walk uphill from where we stay. And... Uh, all along the Amalfi Coast, you see these um, towers, they're called Saracen Towers. They were to um, warn the local population about the arrival of the pirates, basically. And some of them have been restored and, and turned into something else. This is a restaurant attached to the hotel here, and there's a wonderful pool. And here is Amalfi, it's right around the area, the time of the celebrations of St. Andrew's, so they have this big banner, which is not usually there. And here is a restaurant called Gemma, which up until the day that I sketched this, we had never gone to. Our daughter's name is Gemma, so it's unusual. It's one of the classic restaurants of Amalfi, and a dear friend of ours is now a waiter there, so we went. This is a sketch I did a video of. This is a church of uh, Santa Maria Maddalena. There was all kinds of scaffolding here, so I had to improvise. Uh, she's a protectress of Atrani. It's a beautiful, beautiful church with a bell tower to which I did not do justice. And this is the other church in Atrani, San Salvatore, with beautiful stairs. And here is a um, shop where we get most of our food. It was closed, my beloved uh, street lamps. This didn't come out so good, but it was in Cetara. Here's a better sketch of Cetara. Cetara is known for its anchovies, and and you know they sell anchovies in all shapes and forms. And the restaurant we always go to is called Acqua Pazza, and the owner is a real specialist of anchovy curing. We got a tour; it's really wonderful. This also is from the Déjà Vu bar. I like this. It's an entrance of a church that, believe it or not, I've never gone in. We spent so much time right in front of it. And this is a bar in Atrani, right on the water, Bernettuno. This, I have a sketch in my Patreon. It's a view that I see from our window. And you have one of the Saracen Towers. This is up high on the mountain. And then a typical Amalfi Coast church. These white churches with a um, ceiling, the vault ceiling. 
Again, in Amalfi, this is a piazza, this is a wonderful cafe, a historic cafe, Andrea Panza. We often have breakfast here. There was a lady at the window enjoying the views. It's a wonderful place to be a shut-in. I mean, it's not good to be a shut-in, but if you're going to be a shut-in, you should do it here because you sit at your window and the whole world walks right in front of you. Again, Atrani. This is a little house that you can see from the cemetery. The cemetery in Amalfi is really way up high. There's an elevator that takes you there. And there's this little house in the distance, and it's so charming. This is a bit of a mess, kind of busy. Uh, this is also, again, the center of Atrani, our, our shop here, our food shop. And this is the cathedral of Amalfi. It's a beautiful, beautiful cathedral. And this is sitting right in front of Maria Maddalena. The church is behind me. So this lucky person, I like to imagine the life of the people in the places I sketch. And this person, well, they do have to deal with the bells ringing four times an hour. But they have an amazing view over here, the gorgeous church right in front of them. And this was our last day. We went to Minori. We walked there along the treacherous Amalfi coast. And this is a Basilica of St. Trofimena, who is a martyr with an amazing story that I will tell at some point. It's rather gruesome. And when we were sitting here having coffee and getting ready for the ascent of several hundred steps to go to the next town, uh, a woman and her daughter stopped and first they were checking at my sketch and then they started chatting with John and she told them the entire St. Trofimena story and she saw that he was writing and she told him that he needs to write about the scents of the Amalfi Coast and he wrote a beautiful little account of that encounter. Mm. So this was my sketchbook. I'm very attached to it. I feel like it enhanced my trip immensely to have it. And each brush stroke brings back a memory. Thank you for watching.